Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to talk about this device that I've uh, purchased off eBay. It's a high voltage probe and what these are for is so you can use a normal digital multimeter like this to measure voltages up to 40 kV, DC and AC 28 kV. It cost around uh, £65 of free postage. I will put a link to, uh, to the eBay listing in the description. However, it was a UK company, so it'll be uh, ebay.co.uk. But if, uh, if you're watching from outside the UK and you wish to purchase a similar thing, just Google high voltage probe and you'll probably see similar items, or if not the same one. So, only arrived this morning, haven't opened it up yet, it's still all sealed in. So, uh, Without quitting myself, let's see. Uh... Super strong tape that we used. Right. Didn't want this coming apart in the mail, which is a good thing. in the box, right? DC high voltage probe, right, it says DC high voltage probe, but on the box, as you saw, it did say AC voltage as well, so, uh, instruction manual. That looks German, I don't speak German, so, ah, here's English. Here's the specifications, really. I mean, uh, it's a thousand mega ohms, so basically, it's a resistive divider, and it uses uh, your, your multi most multimeters. Their input impedance is ten mega ohms. I've measured mine; it is ten mega ohm. There's its accuracy. You know, one uh, percent up to twenty kV, two percent plus or minus to forty kV. AC, same. Well, it's a bit minus five percent to. Minus ten percent, is it? Yeah, one to twenty-eight kV. The important there, they've actually stated it's for you know normal line frequency operation, therefore fifty, sixty hertz. So if you had a high frequency uh, flyback transformer, ones without the built-in blocking diode, like for driving uh, neon tubes and stuff like that, uh, because the three frequency is so high, the self-capacitance between the resistors, I would have thought, would have uh, caused overheating. So that's why they've stated. 50 or 60 hertz, so you get your temperature. Maximum loading current, 40 microamps. That's uh, not a lot. But obviously, because it's such a high voltage, times that, you know, 1.6 watts is maximum loading power. Ground lead length, input cable for the DMA division. Yeah, one volt for 1,000 volts weight, about 300 grams. Safety precautions, just you know, just your general stuff, really. I mean, if you need an instruction manual to operate a high voltage probe, then you shouldn't be playing with high voltage. So, oh, yeah, and that's uh, the same color as the eBay listed, even though it's black on the box. So, what have we got here? So, we've got the brass contact tip. Feels quite rugged, it's, it's probably fully potted with epoxy. You've got your anti creepage discs, discs here. So 
that this is your uh, ground lead, so this is what you connect to your earth. These two are sh should be 4mm banana plugs, I think, and it's on screen. They have some uh, protective covers on them. So yeah, so you, you, you lead there and that feeds straight into the bottom of the uh, unit. So does the ground. Box of hardware, so we've got that, a hook, so I'm guessing hook can be, that, that can be screwed off, the hook can be screwed on. That looks like it goes on there for doing something else, I don't know. So, uh, I don't know clue what they are on there, I'm going to get rid of Ah, they push down. Not seen that before. That's one thing I've never seen before. Right, okay. Like the road. Okay. Get the ground lead first. It does also state in the instructions this is a class two item. And I'm not gonna go into detail with the classes, but it's basically uh the amount of energy on the circuit you're testing, so under a fault condition, class two, it's a kind of a low energy circuit. You know, like the, uh, anything that's inside an electrical appliance that's plugged into a normal outlet in the UK would be class two. You know, much higher energy circuits, like maybe the cabling inside your house coming straight from the consumer unit, will be class three, and class four will be something like uh, industrial free phase equipment. You know, so. A class four item. If 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 a fault was to develop, or you put the leads in the current setting and you tested voltage, you know you're going to end up with thousands and thousands of uh, amps for a split second flow for, flow through the meter, which could blow the meter up. And obviously, category four meters are built to withstand that. Category three to a lesser extent, and category two. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't personally use a category two multimeter on 240 volts that come straight from the mains because, you know, they're not really designed to add energy. But this, I mean, you're gonna be running, you testing something like flyback transformers, maybe microwave oven transformers, neon sign transformers. Uh, you wouldn't connect this to your meter, climb an electricity pole. Like in the UK, our, one of the distribution voltages that drops it down before it comes into your house is 11,000 volts now. If you were stupid enough to uh, climb a pole with this and connect it to your meter, in theory you would get a voltage reading. But if something was to go wrong, you're going to have thousands of amps at 11,000 volts and this thing will just vaporise and so would your hand and arm maybe. So it's not designed for that sort of use, but I am going to put it to the test. I'm going to use the generic uh, meter. This is from Maplin's. Uh, a few years ago, which is an electrical outlet in the UK. So, and they fit nicely. Need to test it. Just set that aside one sec. This here is a ZVS driver, or ZVS driver, and this is a standard television flyback transformer. And basically, what I've done, I've wound uh, a bifolar winding with a, obviously a centre tap to the output. I've connected uh, a wire to the negative, and here we have two outputs. Now this isn't, if you're not competent with high voltage, don't try doing this sort of thing. But kind of, kind of get it all in shot, so I'm not too close to it. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is, here's the ground lead. I'm gonna hook this up to the uh, negative. In fact, I'd be a better connector if I connected it to the uh, negative there, I think would be better. Yeah, that's better, that's a more secure connection. That's in shot, the meter's in shot, so we will switch the meter on. And I suspect this is around about 30, up to 30,000 volts. It's not gonna be uh, the 40,000 volts max, but I'm gonna put it onto 200 volts and it's on DC. Now this is a positive output. So it should display a positive voltage on the meter. Now, 
I'm going to hook this up to a DC power supply that is uh, maxed out at 20 volts and it's maxed out at uh, 6 amps. Well, it's actually a 5 amp meet, a five amp power supply, but it will produce 6 amps and it's not caused me any problems yet. So let's check the polarity and make sure yeah, that runs to the negative so the positive goes in there. Okay. Right, DC power supply is on, but the output's off, so I'm going to turn the output on now. Now, as you can see, I'm already going to read it, and this isn't even in contact. So, what I'm going to do is carefully probe. Ooh. 20,000 volts. I'm going to test these two uh, wires, which inside inside the uh, old old school TVs, the cathode ray. These were used for the focus. Seven point seven kV, and we have around about the same on there. But the output of this flyback is uh, twenty kV. So let's turn the uh, output of that off for a second. Disconnect the uh, high voltage probe. And I'm sure you want to all see some arcs, so what I'll do. I'm shocking myself in the process. Output back on. And as a guess, when I bring that around, it, it looks like around two centimetres, 20 millimetres, it starts to arc out, and then you bring it out. So, so that's high voltage DC, I've tested it. Now, I don't have the facilities to test this to its maximum power. I say that's 20,000 volts, as we've just seen. I do have another type of power supply to test this with, and it's an AC output. I'll move this out of the way. Heavy. It's a neon sign light, sign lighting transformer. This one's rated at 10,000 volts, 50 milliamps. And what I've done, the two contacts inside, actually, I'll show you inside. I just connected one, the one output there, coming straight out, and the other output there, coming straight out. This is the mains lead coming in, 240 volts in, it's 10,000 volts out. These are current limited transformers, so they're limited to, this is this one particularly is limited to uh, 50 milliamps, you can get lots of other ranges. This is one of the old type ones, it doesn't have uh, the earth leakage trip in it, which if one of the outputs was to come short to the earth, it would cut the output off. This is an old school one, these are hard to find. I also had this running my Tesla coil for a while. What I'm also going to do is put one of these, uh, put the hook style one on, I think, if I can get into the bag. Terminals like that because it's a piece of wire folded up, you can get a better contact. This isn't a very safe thing to do to an neon sign transformer, you know, if you've got wires sticking out that uh, have got bare ends on. You know, if you're living in a house where there's kids or people that don't know what the hell it is, don't have a lead on it but plug on it for fuck's sake, pardon my language. Because even though it's 50 milliamps, it could still kill you. So don't try this at home. So the uh, earth's connected. I'm going to set the meter. I know that I'm going to test it between so we, between uh, one of the outputs and the earth, and it's rated at 5,000 volts. So I'm going to put the output to uh, 20 volts, and DC is no good because it's AC. Right, let's power this on. Okay. Seven 
So we're getting 4 kV out of this. Four point nine KV there. And that's slightly lower. They should both be the same, they should both be five KV, but uh, that's surprising. So so far so good. Now in theory, if you wanted to test the voltage between both of these points, you could put that on there. And go like that but your test meter will be floating so that doing it this way the test meter is going to be around well as we said on there 4.9 4, 4.9 thousand volts above ground which isn't very safe and plus uh, it could damage the meter you know I mean this is a MDF board which is quite a good insulator but shall I try it Yeah, go on then. Nine point two seven KV. Right. Under no circumstances you should repeat something like that because you've got that you've got that distance there to the top. You know, but you've got that distance from your hand to there, and this this isn't rated for five kV, so that's not something you should do. But I just wanted to see what the voltage was across the two outputs. I knew it was going to be around nine point something kV because of the two output voltages. So that is the Pintech High Voltage Probe. Thanks for watching.